Uh, the following crystals and crystal shapes will support you through the season of spring and the spring equinox. By wearing, carrying, or placing these stones around your home or on an altar, they will help synchronize you with the energy of the current cycle of nature. Hi, if you're new, I'm Ethan, and I'm the author of three crystal healing books, including the Amazon bestseller, Crystal Grids Power. Let's get straight into these nine crystals for spring, but stick around because afterwards I will share some practical tips for working with these crystals and tapping into the energy of the season. Serpentine comes in many shades of green and the different varieties actually look quite different. And some of these stones, if you look, have these veins on them and it kind of looks a bit like snake skin. So that's where the name comes from, serpentine. And snakes shed their skin and are associated with rebirth. So this green stone is also very detoxifying and it also cleanses all the chakras. And you can also use or work with serpentine for personal transformation and making any needed life changes. Crystals carved into the shape of an egg are a great symbol of spring. Eggs are an ancient symbol of fertility, new life and rebirth. And they can be used to support you in any new projects. And crystal eggs anchor the energy of new beginnings and help you build a new life for yourself. So this is a form of agate from Madagascar and it's not as easy to find as some of the other crystals I'm sharing with you but it is also known as cherry blossom agate or sakura agate. So flower agate is a mixture of light colours with these kind of blooming white or even pink flower-like formations and I think it just makes a really beautiful representation of the first signs of spring within the mineral kingdom. Chrysoprase carries the colours of nature and growth, luscious plant life, water and the sky, clear green, blue-green to the opaque yellow lemon chrysoprase can all help you with new beginnings. Chrysoprase inspires change and supports you if you are ready to make the changes needed for a fresh start or to do something different with your life. Crystals carved into goddesses, especially earth and fertility goddesses, are also an ancient symbol of springtime. New life is born through women and nurturing feminine energy, and these crystal carvings can represent this and the power of Mother Nature or Gaia. If you're enjoying this video so far, then could you please give it a thumbs up, and this will just help others find this video so they can benefit too. Thank you. Sodalite is a deep blue to indigo stone with white veins that always remind me of lightning bolts. This air element stone helps clear our old energy and supports you during space clearing, something that you might want to do at this time of year. So you can work with sodalite if you want to clear your mind as well. And this dark blue stone helps you gain a higher perspective and gives you inspiration if needed. This is another beautiful form of agate, and moss agate is filled with these mineral inclusions that resemble green moss, plants, and even trees. It reminds me of a little garden or a forest inside a stone, and this organic looking gemstone connects you with nature and the living earth. So moss agate is a stone that can be used to encourage inner and outer growth, and it's also great if you're someone that likes to work with nature and the outdoors at this time of year. This pink form of quartz needs no introduction, and I chose it as one of my crystals for spring because it's a stone of Mother Nature, and rose quartz is a nurturing crystal that keeps you calm while taking steps towards your goals. The soft pink colour also reminds me of cherry blossom and spring flowers and this colour is very traditional especially in uh, where I live in Europe at this time of year is a traditional colour of spring. The green man is a mysterious 
recurring symbol and image in European medieval churches and cathedrals. And he is believed to probably go back to earlier times, to pagan times, and is associated with various gods and archetypes of death and rebirth, and also of the forest. So he represents the divine masculine aspect of new life and spring. It's always really hard to pick a group of stones for a blog or YouTube video, so I do have a few of us that easily could have been part of my nine. Just before I get into those, please subscribe if you're not already, if you would like to see more videos like this from me. So green adventuring kind of has the energy of plants and nature and new life. Ocean Jasper, which is actually a form of rhyolite with feldspar and quartz, is great because it's a stone of patience. And Amazonite, which is a water and earth element stone that supports fresh starts and new beginnings. And as always, you can benefit from wearing or carrying any of these crystals, and you could also put them on display in your home to invite the energy of spring and the season into your house and into your life. And you can decorate your altar or any sacred space that you meditate or do spiritual work on uh, with these stones at this time of year. Or why not make a seasonal crystal grid from these crystals? And my book, Crystal Grids Power 2, will include a crystal grid for each of the four seasons. The spring equinox can be seen as one of the four energetic gateways or portals of the year. The spring or vernal equinox is an astronomical alignment that marks the end of winter and the beginning of the spring season. It's a time when the day and night are almost equal in length. It's also considered the astrological new year in Western and other forms of astrology. Common festive themes around this time of year are emerging out of the darkness and into the light, the rebirth of nature, fertility, growth, and new beginnings. Here are some practical and holistic tips to help you get more in sync with the flow of energy of the season. And you could do many of these things while holding one of your spring energy crystals. Physically clean every part of your home, declutter, sell, recycle, or give away anything that you no longer need. Do some space clearing, so spiritually cleanse the entire house. Start taking the initial first steps towards your goals, aspirations, or anything you're trying to manifest at this time. Clean away dead leaves or twigs or old wood that has been knocked down during the winter season. Review which projects or habits you need to restart. Plant any seeds that need to be planted at this time of year. Get creative craft or do some artistic things. Work with spring-themed oracle or tarot card decks. Try to get outside more in nature if you can. This is also a good time to relocate or move house. Go on a holistic detox or cleanse. And i love to know which of these crystals you're going to be working with this season. Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe if you would like more like this. You can also find all my books on Amazon and are in other places at the links below. And some of these links are affiliate links which help support indie authors like me. And you can also check out the other seasonal crystal guides I have for the other seasons including the following season if you want to be prepared for the next season which is summer. Check that out. There's also other videos appearing on screen now that I think you might be interested in.